I have a confession to make. I am one of those car-hating, transit-loving enthusiasts on YouTube, and I'm going to tell you why that's a good thing. But before we get into that, I would like to quickly update you all on my channel schedule. I am aiming to upload two videos a week, one on Wednesday in this style, like a voice overlay on gameplay, or a standalone gaming video, and another on Saturday, where vlogs not too dissimilar to my previous videos will air. I hope that will strike a good balance between upload consistency and my actual ability to get it done consistently. I would also like to remind everyone to remain respectful in their opinions and the comments you decide to write. I know that this will be an unpopular take for many people, but it is something that I'm very passionate about and will probably be making more videos on in the future. If it's not your cup of tea, I implore you to stick around since I plan on making all kinds of content not just things related to disgusting American-centric. <sighs> well, let's get into that. I recently sold my 2014 Nissan Altima SV, allowed my license to expire, and have been living car-free since early December 2022. And so far, it has been very liberating. It is something that I was contemplating doing for a long while, and I'm very relieved to have finally done it. There was a confluence of reasons why I ultimately decided to go through with it, not least of which was economic. Even if my financial situation was more solid this past year, given inflation and a general decrease in my hours at the restaurant, it should be no secret to anyone that cars are just ridiculously expensive. There are the common things that everyone thinks about, gas especially, but also insurance, upfront costs, etc. What many people don't consider are the massive hidden costs that plague your wallet and society at large. Depreciation, interest, parking, administrative fees, wear and tear on infrastructure, pollution, traffic. All of these and more eat away at public and private funds in a way that is largely indisputable and has honestly been better covered by more specialized channels, which you can find links for below. And the more you use it, the more you pay for it, which is the crazy thing. You pay for it in higher insurance payments, a lessened time frame until you have to purchase your next vehicle. So for those whom a car is not absolutely necessary, you should really consider ditching it, which leads me to my next point. I didn't need it. I consider myself very lucky to live in a small town where walkability is feasible. Not ideal, but certainly possible. Grocery and corner stores, eateries, Barbershops and pharmacies are all within walking distance, not to mention my workplace. If I need to make a more specific purchase, say for a certain computer monitor, subsidized regional transit can take me where I need to go. And if, God forbid, I have to take so much as a 15 minute walk, well, that is likely for the best. I understand that not everyone is so fortunate, but if you were to take a long, hard look at your situation and the options available, I believe that many would find, like me, that it's a change that is more plausible than expected. For those who it is truly not feasible in the slightest, it may be time to advocate for better development and transit. Which leads me to my final point. Advocacy for public transit. I truly believe that my capacity to be a strong advocate for good transit solutions was being hindered by my car. It is just way too easy to jump in my Pluto-mobile becoming one with the traffic and distracted by my radio. There must be a better way. My car was a luxury, a status symbol of sorts. For all too many, it is instead a necessity, and I would like to help make a world where that is less so true. So, question of the day. Do you think you could live without your car? Would you want to live without your car? I don't want to make this the only topic of my channel, but I will be posting similar videos every so often, because at the end of the day, it's something that's very important to me, and I want to share my convictions with you. No secrets. Also, what did you think of the short form content? Hope the overlay isn't too jarring, but if it is, I'm more than happy to hear constructive criticism in the comments. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't, and yeah, bye.